will take another two to three years for uh, all the companies to get involved into Ethereum blockchain. People are just trying to know about it. Now is the uh, right time to enter it uh, if you want to enter into this language. Uh, for career change, uh, now is the right time for, to change the career. I mean, uh, if you already have 10 to 15 years experience uh, in Java, C Sharp, uh, we'll be looking at that. However, uh, if you have uh, this uh, uh, knowledge on uh, C Sharp, Python, and everything, so you are already good to go and apply for blockchain uh, jobs all over the world. So Israel uh, is a master right now. I uh, don't know how, where it came from, but Israel is a leading uh, blockchain uh, in creating jobs and later on now uh, there are many jobs created in Dubai so Dubai uh, is creating its own coin EMI coin in the same way I heard India is also creating its own coin Lakshmi coin uh, Reliance uh, Geo is starting their own coin Geo coin so this will take time but the movement has begun this movement is something which will not stop alright so there's something so how is my future in blockchain Right. So, uh, uh, till a recent point, there were no non-technical jobs. Uh, people, uh, we had only technical jobs, but uh, uh, the uh, Salesforce and SAP got integrated to blockchain uh, recently. Right. So, if you are if you are already an SAP guy, non-technical guy, uh, what is your job? You go to companies and give solutions, right? And then your technical team comes and right. So, if I'm working on a bakery, so how how do I uh, jump into SAP? So if I'm a bakery, I'll take the help of an SAP uh, guy, right? So how will uh, SAP help me in going uh, and managing my bakery products? And later on, someone from the technical team will come. So in the same way, uh, you you, ha you also have non-technical jobs for blockchain. So what is your role? You go to companies and ask the companies and get them digitized. Digitized in the sense, so all the uh, bookkeeping ledgers will go onto the blockchain so you will digitalize those companies so you will go and give them solutions right for this uh, you, you need to be reading a lot of books so even uh, governments can take the help of uh, blockchain how if you can uh, uh, so all the as I've told you all the birth certificates and death certificates can be maintained on blockchain right all the uh, IDs and whatever it is, everything, everything can be maintained on blockchain, right? It is tampered proof, so no duplicates can be created. Why it is incorruptible? Why it is incorruptible? As I told you, so everything is hashed, and we cannot change the hash value. If if you change the hash value in a per, in a particular block, the hash value of the previous block of uh, the changes. So if the hash value of previous block changes, the hash value of the before previous block also changes. So it so in, in that sense, it is a non-corruptible ledger, right? So, in the uh, and also there are technical jobs. Right? For non-technical, you need to only read a lot of books and give solutions. And for uh, certain non-technical jobs, includes a business development manager. Right. So helping clients migrate to blockchain, as I've told you. Uh, your skills include good verbal communication. All right. So verbal communication is obviously uh, necessary in, for any job. Have a sound knowledge on blockchain. Yes. Why? Because uh, you need to suggest to companies what type of uh, blockchain he has to maintain, depending upon the size of the company, whether it is a private blockchain, it is a public blockchain. So if I'm a manufacturer, so there is no need for me to go to public blockchain. So if I'm an IPO holder, so some, someone like Reliance and uh, other big companies like Tata and all, so they need to go on public language, sorry, public blockchain. Why? Because uh, there are many investors for the company. So you need to know everything about the blockchain, right? So having additional knowledge on finance, healthcare, government policies is an advantage. So if you know the government policies, you can give good solutions of blockchain to them, right? So how, how does your, so if, if there is a government policy uh, which can go to the blockchain, obviously you can approach the government, right? So the present healthcare uh, can easily uh, take the help of blockchain, right? How uh, they can, uh, store the name of the patient, doctor, and everybody. So if I come even after five years, all right, so uh, with the help of my timestamp and with the help of my block block number, I can know uh, or, or the doctor can know what he had served the patient. Right? 
So if I am admitted someday and I am uh, uh, going out of the hospital, uh, if I am getting discharged today, right? So on the timesheet, I will be timestamped, right? And uh, my details will be hashed. Later on, even even if I come after five years, depending on the on the block number or time step, uh, the doctor can view my data and the doctor can uh, treat me uh, from where he stopped five years ago, right? In finance, finance there are many sectors, so there are many frauds happening in finance sector. As I've told you, famous uh, uh, diamond merchant, right, who has looted banks for eleven thousand crore Indian rupees. Okay, so why th did that happen? because of not proper software maintenance of uh, the bank. All right, so if, we, if the if the, uh, banks go to blockchain, so what will happen? Everything, all the data will go into the blockchain. So actually what happened was, I'll, I'll just give you a one minute uh, gist of this. So that guy approached one bank, the uh, bank had given something called LC, which is letter of credit. Using that letter of credit, he has approached some other international bank. All right, so, that international bank so what did it do it has released uh, money to money to this uh, merchant the diamond merchant all right so what what does that lc mean even if this person uh, if, if this person uh, doesn't pay the money on time the bank in india will pay the bank abroad so that is uh, what the letter of credit does so what happened after one month uh, hit the bank didn't pay the amount to him right so what happened actually was uh, this merchant had actually tied up with someone from the bank all right so and created fraud papers so that will not happen uh, in the case of blockchains why because every everyone in the case of blockchain what will happen so that letter of credit will be hashed and that hash value will be sent to the blockchain Right. That uh, later on, the international uh, bank will uh, look after that hash value sent by this Indian Indian bank. Right. So with the help of that hash value, all the matter inside that hash value will appear. And depending upon that, the bank will release uh, the amount. If it is fraud, it will not release. Right. And coming back to the technical aspect, so you can become an a uh, blockchain architect. You for becoming an a uh, uh, blockchain architect, obviously you need to have knowledge on all these languages c sharp c python java javascript solidity all right so this is not the minimum minimum is already around 1.4 to 1.5 us dollars and the demand for them is very very huge So, right, so, so these are the skills involved. For uh, you to learn Solidity, obviously you need to be having an added information or pre-experience on Java or Java, Java, not even Java, but you need to learn a JavaScript at least. So Java can be taken care of later on. Uh, all the Bitcoin coding is done on Python and C Sharp. All right, so if you are already aware of Python and C Sharp and uh, you're already uh, good to go and apply for Bitcoin jobs and in the case of Ethereum uh, you need to be learning Solidity. All right, it, Solidity is not at all a difficult language. It's a very, very easy language if you have a prior experience of JavaScript because it, this is a new language and people are already in those jobs. So if they have achieved jobs, why not we? I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPath.